Do you know the history of water in South Florida? Water used to flow through the Kissimmee River into Lake Okeechobee, through the Everglades, and into Florida Bay. That water nourished the Everglades wetlands, providing a diverse habitat for plants and animals, and recharging the Biscayne Aquifer, the source of drinking water for millions of people. In the early 1900s, people started to drain the Everglades for development and agriculture, but soon they realized these areas were prone to flooding. A dike was built around Lake Okeechobee to prevent flooding, and that historic southerly flow was diverted east and west through man-made canals. These alterations cut off South Florida's water supply, ultimately starving the Everglades and Florida Bay while devastating the coastal estuaries. So what are we doing to fix this? Everglades Restoration aims to recreate as much as possible that historic flow by storing, cleaning, and sending water south through reservoirs, pump stations, and canals. This will help protect South Florida's drinking water as well as reduce harmful discharges to the east and west. This is the largest ecosystem restoration project in the world, and it's gonna take some time to fix the mistakes of the past. But we know restoration works, and we need to work together to accomplish the mission.